Kenya, what was going through your mind when you heard voices in the bedroom at 6 a.m.? I think I was just so tired. I just didn't even know what it was at first. No one was in the living room. Everyone was asleep. Of course, it was super early and I heard the noises. After I listened more and I heard the grunts, the commands, the <laughs> moans, the groans, <laughs> the directions being called out, I'm like, oh, this is somebody having sex <laughs> in the cast out. Was it that loud or did you actually have to put your ear to the door? No, you could hear because clearly I heard one person's voice. I heard a male's voice. What I didn't know is who the other woman was. So I'm going around like, okay, I'm gonna drop a couple of little nuggets and see what the reactions are. I heard about you doing the most. What like, I the most? Listen, it was a bachelorette party. So what are you guys thinking as Kenya's talking about this to you? Kenya was talking? I, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Who's listening when she's talking? Like, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really <laughs> talk. She just got a mute button for you, huh, Drew? Drew said, I don't hear everything right. that she says, ever. She heard, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> yes, she I heard her. something, but I was just like. <laughs> All y'all got to do since y'all so watch them shorts go in that bed y'all was in last night. started talking about the things that happened after the cameras went down, I was kind of caught off guard, like, whoa, are we discussing that? So you went to bed with Cynthia. Who else was left? You we were trying to get a suspect list. Well, you should I know who else was to left. Get a suspect. I mean, you know, I'm a very open person and I just put all my business out there, but all the girls are not necessarily like that. So I just kind of compare the dungeon to Vegas, you know, and they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Now the dungeon was out in the open. I'm pretty sure going into a separate bedroom on a cash trip in a cast house is not a part of the dungeon. For me, I was just, you know, saying what happens is stays here to just let them know like, okay, I'm not using this as a ploy to, you know, put you out there in front of the world. You just feel comfortable to be yourself. I guess Kenya's whole opinion was if it had been her, they definitely would have drug her. It's like, I, I get it, you know, but at the same time, I just hate that it had to happen in this situation because, you know, I kind of felt like, dang, I was the one who, you know, set up the party. So I didn't really want that to be, you know, the thing that put people in a bad situation or whatever. Hi, did you hear something? Uh, 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 uh. Girl, I don't know. You know, I know you heard some things because your room is right there. Very, very heavy. The thing about it is, your room was right by the kitchen. You did not confirm or deny that you heard any noises. If you did not hear anything, you would have said, no, I did not hear anything. So, I'm a lawyer right now, I'm an attorney. That means you heard something in the room. You heard something in the room and you are not admitting it. Why am I on trial right now? Your room was right by the kitchen. You were up, Kenny was by the fridge and you guys heard noises and that's when Bolo left around seven o'clock AM. How you know if I was up or not? Really Kenny, you, you don't wanna know go if there? I was up? Do you want to go saying. there? Okay, well, why do okay. I have to be forced to say if I heard something or not? Like, I'm the main one who's saying, what happens at the dungeon stays in the dungeon, so why am I forced to tell what happened? Like, that doesn't make, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, but listen, let's just make this clear now. If you wanted to clear it up for your friend, you would have said, no, I didn't hear any noises. But the fact of the matter is, you didn't confirm or deny it, so everything is up in the air because of your comments. What? You gotta speak on it. I don't you gotta have speak to, on it. No. <laughs> speak on it. I don't have to speak on what other people have going on. If I'm not there, why am I speaking on it? I wish I was in that damn room because I would've been like, yes, I heard all the noises, okay?
So Kenya, what made you decide to get to the bottom of this and hold Bolo Court? <laughs> Number two, Bolo Court. I have heard you were being spanked by someone's tongue. Honestly, I just wanted to know who else was in the room. I wasn't gonna do anything with the information, but I wanted the information. Cynthia and Kenya interrogated me about what happened after the camera crew left. I need permission, Your Honor, yes. to treat this witness as a hostile witness. Oh. Permission granted. Yes. Cynthia was like, well, I saw you on Portia. The lips was loving some Portia, honey, last night. Okay, Those well, lips, what you talking about? Kenya was like, well, what did you do with Bolo? So is it possible that you don't recall spending the night with said long penis Bolo? And it's like, this was just supposed to be a good time with all the girls, so why are you trying to expose what we were doing? You know, but the aunties came into the picture and tried to expose everything. Wait, hold on. Okay, technically, I have been an auntie, but I guess I wasn't an auntie then. <laughs> Let That's these why. people have their personal business. <laughs> oh, really? Y'all want us to hear and act like some people weren't doing things that's inappropriate in this house. So I heard her up until she started talking about my best friend, and I was like, it's a reach. They could have been watching porn, you never know. Yeah, the stripper porn. with the 20 inch dick was in there with somebody watching porn. That How makes sense. How you know sense. he was in there? Cause he wasn't out here. It's a no for me. Why do you guys think Kenya cares so much about what happened? I don't really know that she cares about what happened. I think she just cares about Portia. She had been doing things to pick at me. Why is it that she always manages to get arrested on camera? There are three ladies at this table that could get it. Portia's not on the list. I start feeling little stings here and there that I, I, weren't, I wasn't really reacting to. So I think by that time, she was like, oh, this will be the thing. You know, this will be the thing that I'll be able to like get her to react or maybe just even get me to engage. Because honestly, I had not really engaged with her. Even though she had treated the girls oh. crazy and didn't have food for them. Oh, this is, this is, you're just disrespectful. Even though she had us on that, um, you know, highway to hell bus. You know, I'm sweating my boots. Hot. I so hot. Even though she had done all these things, <laughs> I didn't feel entitled to anything but her horrible treatment because me and her don't have that relationship. You know what I'm saying? But I did feel even within that she had been poking me. So by the time this happened and the girls explained it to me the way she was laying it out, I was like, okay, here we go. And she says this morning, I heard some noises like sex. Down here? Yes. What? It's just kind of like. Whoa. Whose door? And she said at this door right here. My other room? Yes. Here we go. This is where she wants her finale to happen and I'm not gonna give it to her. But I understood how Tanya felt because it's been years of dealing with Kenya for me to get to this space. What are Please. you in Miss 40 year old, whatever you are? Yes, bitch, 40 and fabulous. Uh, Call me a bitch one more time. Yes. 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 Bye. Bye, Ashy. Have a nice day. Bye, Ashy. You need to yeah, shut like your mouth, mad. Portia, never, because if, if it's never. not a dick in it, you don't even know what you're saying. And trust me, last year, I'll go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The year before that, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Any other year, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't really judge the fact that Tanya was upset about her lying on her like that. It really started out her me. making jokes like, okay, we expect exactly. that. Exactly. But now you're going, you're doing a lot. She's okay, making disparaging comments about me and you involving a, a stripper. I had to just let her be pissed about it. I couldn't say, no, let's both play cool. No, I just had to let her have her natural reaction to somebody making up something and telling the girls. She just does not affect me. It's literally like a bubble around me and her negativity does not affect me. And so I just kind of felt like in the past, I've always given her the power, I've given her the energy, I've decided to engage, and there's nothing but negativity there. I would not have such a smooth forehead and a round ass if I was as <laughs> miserable as Kenya. And that is why she has lumps, and that is why her mouth is twisted, <laughs> oh, and you no. can drive the the bus we were on through the dents in her butt and in her face. You know, so for me, I, I just, I, I rather have my smile lines go up than to be dealing with negativity in my life. 
we know the weekend was full of action. There were strippers, there were sex swings, there were yeah. costumes, and there was also a fishing trip. Well, I wasn't expecting to go fishing, and I definitely wasn't expecting to catch a whole shark. Oh, oh what, what is, is he? Whoa! Oh, oh, it's a shark. Whoa. First of all, it scared me that they have so many sharks in their water. Okay, let me start there. <laughs> um small sharks or not it's still a shark so that's scary but it was so hard all right who wants to fight him let me try and lower it jesus all right put this hand up here now real real fast oh my god oh, 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 oh my god oh my god i need a sisterhood this shark really gave all of us a run for our money i think it started out with candy right Candy was trying to get him first, and she would have been yep. trying to pull this big ass shark out the water for at least maybe about what, 15 minutes, Drew? Like 15, 20 minutes? 15 minutes. And we yeah, really were wild. like, is yeah. it really that hard? So then Marlo was like, I'll help. So then I stepped in, and so then Drew was like, I'm your moral support. I'm gonna just stand over here, and I'm really gonna pray y'all through. We got your back, girl. I got your back. At the last bit, we needed some big feet, okay, to really you know, bear down on the ground. So we had Marla on her big ass hands and feet, get that rod, use that big wide back. And let me tell you, this girl ended up pulling this shark out of the water. I'm gonna get his ass. All right, pull up on him. But you know, honestly, that has to be a highlight. I don't know about you, Drew, but the the boat catching the fish, it actually was a highlight because it was like a true sister moment. It was refreshing for me because being new, it was like every time I felt like I was getting together with the girls, it was always a fight. Drew, yeah. can we talk about your struggling husband? Oh, you don't know nothing about my struggling husband, though. But you're right, Portia. Like, being on that boat, it was the first time where I was like, the whole yeah. time, it was just positive vibes. We had a good time, laughing, drinking. It was like, we really like each yep. other. Like it took real teamwork. You know, we had good conversation on the boat. We talked about some real stuff. You know, we talked about how Marlo was, you know, so depressed about her friendship with Kenya. I realized we both were hurt. I'm willing to let that go. But the thing about it, this girl really don't like me. We we're trying to yeah. encourage her to keep going forward with life until Kenya wants to make up with her. <laughs> and, you know, it was just some real good conversation that went on on the boat. I won't I lie, I was very jealous at first when y'all were leaving. I was like, oh man, they get to go on a yacht and I get to sit here in court all damn day. I have heard you were being spanked by someone's tongue. Oh, I did not good. right. <laughs> and then when y'all got back, then I felt some kind of way. I'm like, what kind of sisterhood did y'all really have? Right. Because you lost your sister when you got yeah. back. You none. You, you you talked her right on over into uh, Kenya's court. Oh Lord, they walking together. Yeah. Look at God. Get an amen. Can we just give them a hand clap? Yes. This is my wife. Oh Lord, have mercy.